Hey everyone! Today we're going to be making a show-stopping dinner party favorite, the charcuterie board. It's a dish containing a variety of cheeses, cured meats, nuts, fruits, and crackers, making them the perfect centerpiece for entertaining guests. Let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? First, start with your cheeses. For a small wheel of brie, begin cutting from the middle, then cut them into small pizza-like portions. Of course, you gotta make sure they are presentable before arranging it first on the board, and then you definitely have to make some space for the meat. Next, let's cut some cheddar cheese into quarters. Dicing the cheeses helps improve the cheese's presentation. But of course, you're free to cut them however you like, so it can fit your board. Once you're done, lay them out right next to the brie. Let's go ahead and do the same for the mozzarella blocks. Cutting them into diced pieces gives a little bit more space on the board for your other ingredients. But of course, as always, you can cut them to your own preference. Afterwards, place the mozzarella right next to your other cheeses. Now let's get on to my favorite part, the meat. You gotta make sure to fold or thinly cut your cured meats. For the salami, we folded them and fanned them out right next to the cheeses where they pair up nicely. You can also fold any circular sliced meat in half. Or for the larger ones like deli ham, you can cut them up into four smaller pieces. Then roll each piece to resemble a scroll. You can then layer these off on top of the salami like a deck of cards. You should fan these out for easier picking. Aside from slicing and dicing or folding, you can also arrange them to look like pretty flowers or cute little ribbons. This would be great for the chorizo slices or even smaller meats like pepperoni and prosciutto. Then you can top these off over the ham to complete your meat set. Add in the feta cheese and make sure to place them in small bowls if you're also using other cheeses that have brines or liquids so that the other ingredients don't get all soggy. Next, go ahead and add the accoutrements. Let's start with some honey, and then some jams and preserves. You can also arrange these near the meats and cheeses that complement them. Now let's try adding some pickled and salted components into the mix, like whole grain mustard, pesto, pickled cucumbers and olives. After all of that, let's go ahead and try adding some crispy and crunchy components. Slice up a toasted baguette, placing them near the cheeses and jams, as they pair up really nicely. Next, let's add in some crunchy pretzels and tea biscuits. You can also fill huge spaces up with these. Just make sure to fan them out throughout the board. Now let's add a touch of freshness to your board with some fruits like grapes and strawberries near your cheeses. You can also use berries and pears, which goes really well with mozzarella. Let's go ahead and fill up all the leftover spaces with some nuts and dried fruits. We used up some almonds and pistachios. And for an added touch of fruity components, we also added in some dried dates and raisins. Let's go ahead and finish off your board with some bright fresh herbs. This can be anything from mints, rosemaries, basil, or any fresh herb of your choice. And last but not the least, assemble any silverware you want the guests to use. A good set to have would be some matching spoons, forks, and some cheese knives. Finally, serve your charcuterie board with some rosé to pass around. But if you don't really like rosé, a good bottle of champagne or even cocktails will work just as tastefully. And that's about it for today's video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. 
and turn on that notification bell to catch more easy and tasty dishes to try at home. Enjoy!